pray. We pray for wisdom for compassion staff and church partners as they determine how to help and support more than 6,000 compassion children and their vulnerable families who often struggle with hunger. In the last two years, one in 10 people globally are going to bed hungry each night with the number of people facing insecurity has been doubled from 135 million to 276 million in two years. Dear God, we pray that you would protect those in our world who are most vulnerable. We lift up those with pre-existing health conditions and those without access to good medical care. We pray they would know your peace and protection. We pray, dear Lord, for churches to be a light and support to their communities, particularly for Compassion's local church partners around the world. We ask that you empower and equip them as they seek to continue supporting children and families. We bring to you, Lord, six of the children sponsored here in this church by the church and its members. The joy of letters exchanged, like you said, engage regularly with celebration gifts sent to these young people. The excitement shown by them with photographs sent to us on purchases made, mainly produce that they have happily share with the village and maybe just a small gift for themselves. It really is quite humbling to know the joy and prayers shared with us. Loving God, you have called us into this church to share fellowship with each other, to be your family in this place, to be one people bound together in love. Together, we are the body of Christ. Bind us together. But we come today recognising you have called us to a wider fellowship which extends across denominational differences, beyond geographical boundaries, out into the world. Though we may never meet in person, we are one with fellow Christians everywhere, united by one faith, sharing the common goal of taking the good news of Christ to the end of the earth. Together, we are the body of Christ. Bind us together in love. Open our horizons through the time together, broaden our vision, enlarge our understanding, and help us to glimpse more fully the extent of your purpose the wonder of your love, and the richness of the Christian family to which we belong. Loving God, hear our prayer for the have-nots of this world, for those with no homes, living as refugees, or living rough on the streets, the shacks and huts of shanty towns, or bed and breakfast for those with nowhere else to go. Loving God, hear our prayer for the have-nots of this world. We pray for those who have no food, their crops having failed, their economies burdened by debt, or their labours not fairly rewarded. We pray for those with no fresh water, daily facing the threat of disease and the nightmare of drought. For those who have no resources, condemned to a life of poverty, with no prospect of respite, no opportunity to help themselves, loving God, hear our prayer for the have-nots of this world. We pray for those who have no access to education, to a health service or a welfare system, no one to turn to for help and support. In the context of this world, of this, our world, we are the heart, haves. Stir our hearts to, have, to help the have-nots. Help us to be ready to say no to ourselves so that we may say yes to them to sacrifice a little that they may receive much. Loving God, hear our prayer for the have-nots of this world in the name of Christ. We bring these prayers to, you, prayers to you, dear Lord, as you call us all to the task of mission, to make room for the good news of Christ. Grant your wisdom, guidance and inspiration so that many will hear and respond. Lord, in your great compassion, hear our prayers. Amen.